Good afternoon. Students have reported the sightings of strange, unusually shaped, unidentified objects being on prominent display all across campus in multiple buildings. These artifacts seem to spread a sense of pride for the university, as if they are symbols for a Purdue yet present and prophetic project working on an alluring yet unknowable task. Who might it be? Who builds these crafts? To what end? Listen, this video is about student teams. In a nutshell, what, how could you define student teams for somebody who is not part of the university? Student teams are groups of students who have a higher goal to actually to achieve something. And most of them are obviously geared about uh, all around uh, sports activities. So we have a solar team racing in, uh, in the desert of uh, Australia. We have an electric bike team. We have a drones team. Uh, we have even a concrete canoe team. There are many teams within this university representing the diversity of this university, I would say. So in terms of the, uh, the managerial aspect of it, how much of it is uh, input from the university or the companies and how much of it is just you all planning and deciding together on what you're going to produce? I think everything is really our own uh, yeah. choice. We can make our own decisions and uh, I think the university helps us a lot and they have a, a big network we can make use of but in the end they're uh, yeah, just a sponsor uh, such as the companies are for us as well. There's a little bit of influence from the university of course since they sponsor us and we represent them officially abroad so they give us kind of a set of rules and guidelines but the final decision always remains to us. We see those teams as student teams, so they really have to learn from the experience. And that also implies that they are allowed, or actually are even supposed to, to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is, it is not a very smooth corporate uh, project that we have. They run the show, we help them a little bit if things go wrong. It's um, just too bad, but that's then also a good experience because you also learn from that. So as a student in a student team, what do you get out of it? Uh, you really get a lot of experience uh, working in a team and just a lot of knowledge on a very specific uh, project because I'm doing the management right now and I didn't really have any experience with it. Mm. So this is really a, a le learning year for myself for how do I do it, uh, what can I do better, uh, can I even, am I good in it? So it's really a lot of personal experience. I, guess. Yeah. I think it's also the experience and also like it's it is a student team, but it's really functioning like a proper company, like the meetings that you have, the decisions you have to make. Um, so I think it's really the experience that you will not get uh, at studying, but what you only get when you are doing it in practice. I would say a lot of experience. Um, you pretty much get the chance to work in quite a big project for an entire year, learn stuff about working in a project, but also just technical stuff, like for me, programming, working in big software projects. So just a lot of experience. Yeah, being part of the student team is kind of being part of a company itself. Uh, it's a small startup. And also what I found really particular is the the possibility of taking a full year gap year is unique in the Netherlands. You don't have that anywhere else uh, in the world. That really allows you to put all your time in a project and push it further than uh, other university could. And you can get a sense of business. Uh, and yeah. yeah, I think the the thing for the technical team is you, you really learn in depth how the, the practical stuff works. So really hard skills. So from all the way back to designing from scratch to production and testing. Uh, and for me, as a, as a manager, for instance, you get to know what, what managing is and um, yeah, get to know about leadership as well. And I think also the fun part for the engineers is that uh, normally in uh, at the Saxion or at the university, you have to do a project and you have to design something. And then after 10 weeks, the project is done, yeah. if it's finished or not. And then you get a grade and then you can write in the conclusions and recommendations like, well, I would have done it otherwise. Yes. But now it really needs to be produced and uh, there uh, really needs to be built a car or a bike. And uh, yeah, then you can not just write, I'm going to do it the other way. You have to do it the other way. What does the student team project do for the university? How? How does that work? Uh, well, no, it depends a little bit on the on the teams because obviously uh, the the competitions that they take part in or the the, the goals that they want to achieve are, are widely uh, different. For example, we have the solar team, uh, which, which obviously is our best known team. There's a lot of media exposure uh, for that, and that's also one of the reasons why we put a little bit more money in into those uh, teams because obviously they also are a great 
um, a flagship for, for our university. They show how entrepreneurial we are, what good students we have, etc., etc. So there is a certain trade-off in that. Um, but other teams are much smaller and it is more or less um, a, a group of students who have really found each other in, 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 in a project and, and would like to do something and we give them a little bit of uh, uh, support to make, to make that work. All of the student teams currently participate in one or more competitions that are usually international. I think you guys have some national? Uh, we have one national and two international, yeah. uh, but it is a set requirement by the university that we participate in competition at least once a year. We are competing in the Solar Spot 1 competition and that's a competition uh, mainly focused on the Netherlands but it's trying to get bigger and more international and about around five races we do um, with our final uh, world championship in Monaco. We really, we really built a car for one specific race in Australia, the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge and that is a race of 3000 kilometers from Darwin to Adelaide and it will take us about five days. At least that's what we hope uh, we can do it in five days. And that's really where we uh, design the car for and the only race we participate in. There will be a race at uh, Assen during the Gamma Racing Days. Mm -hmm. That's quite a big race event in uh, Holland where uh, over 100,000 spectators are at the uh, race of Assen. And then we can also uh, show our uh, bike. One of my favorite competitions is the Drone Clash. It's a bit uh, like a robot war, but drone mm -hmm. version. You, have, uh, you can come up with any kind of weapon. Uh, last year they had teams with flamethrowers, tasers, spears flying in the arena, uh, tackling the other drones. And the idea behind this, uh, this competition is organized by the Dutch police, and it's a way for them to prevent this kind of uh, reality. So they come up with their own weapon that they test during this competition, you know, sort of like real life scenario. And we also have to come up with uh, drones that can withstand the weapon. We will be racing at the Shell Eco Marathon. It's an, a big international race, uh, team worldwide. Uh, yeah, are racing in this uh, in this competition. So in July we will go to Sydney to participate in the small size uh, robot soccer competition, and this competition is part of the general robot soccer competition, which consists of uh, humanoid and medium sized robot soccer as well. And the goal of this is that in 2050 they actually want to defeat the current human world champion. You see the students who participate in those teams, you see them growing over the years. Um, uh, because really they go to their limits they, and sometimes they really have to overreach. And that is a great learning experience. So where when uh, a project is started, they, you see students who can be a little bit timid after a year. They are just there. They stand there. They present. They they they, they entice people, mm -hmm. and they sell their project. And that's really great to see. So already that is. I mean, that is so good for for the students and also good for university. Um, I would say that is already enough. Let's recap. Student teams are entrepreneurial exercises centered around the building of a vehicle or a robot that is then used to compete against various others from all over to try and see which are the best at performing their function. The students get to learn how to cooperate in a corporate structure and the university gets to have a little bit of free advertising. It's pretty much win-win. So the next time you find yourself staring at a car that runs on the sun and goes real fast, consider, would you like to make a car that runs on the sun and goes real fast? What about doing PR for a group of people that are making a car that runs on the sun and goes real fast? Or like a boat? Or a drone? Or what about a car that doesn't go that fast but runs on hydrogen instead? The possibilities are endless. Well, the possibilities are six. Unless you want to make your own team and... Don't contact us about that one. But for everything else, here's our social media accounts. If you have a cute pet, I want a picture of it. Fellow students all, this has been your student report for this month. Take care and we'll see you on campus.